listen up. We've got some news hot off the presses. This station has received reports that the two lighthouse keepers from Oxford Point Island Lighthouse have vanished. The lighthouse keepers work. You have one unheard message. Two more lighthouse keepers headed First unheard message. Hi baby, I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message, click anywhere. It looks like they were halfway through dinner when something interrupted them. There were no signs of a struggle and all their belongings were still there, including a journal kept by one of them. The journal states several times that the island was talking to them. The most common theory is that the men have suffered from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea. Other cases like this have been reported on in the past, but have never been fully resolved. A full investigation has begun into this bizarre case. We'll update you as the story progresses. That's a big box. What is it? Wow, nice wrapping skills. Oh my god, a puppy. I can't believe you did this. I love her. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Friday, June 4th, 4.15 p.m. Oh, uh, it's Mike here. I got a message earlier asking about changing the code to your security door. All you need to do is enter the code, follow the steps I told you on the day I installed it. I wrote the code on the back of my business card. If you have any problems, call me during business hours and I'll be happy to walk you through it. Thanks. It's Mike.
I'm stuck at the gate. Yeah, you will be through. Yeah. Just the two of us in here. See you soon. Tragedy has struck Pleasant Falls. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Powell. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah is a victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. June 6th, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us. And he blames me. And maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere, and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him.
woman was found murdered in her home, stabbed over 10 times. managed to make a call to 911, had been victim to domestic me abuse. Just monster living in me does is drink. Maybe it is my fault. Yeah, abandoning okay. here so much. I'm not the one with problems. I just need to numb the pain. It's the only thing I can do to not feel. spokesperson from the CADV, or Citizens Against Domestic Violence, had mentioned during a press statement that it's easy to turn a blind eye to domestic violence by explaining away the problem. Often in cases like these, the victim is in love with their assailant. As we all know, love often traps These cases often need outside intervention, but ultimately, it is up to them to help themselves. Usually, the assailant in these situations will suffer from addiction and sometimes deeper psychological problems. If you or someone you know is involved in a situation like this, please contact our anonymous helpline for guidance. In other news, the annual Orange Plum Festival is in the first week. Make sure you visit Main Street and some of the finest dishes our fine town has to offer. Who the fuck are you? All you do is drink. You're a monster. Can't live like this anymore.
that it's easy to turn a blind eye to domestic violence. All you do is drink. I need you, and I love you more than I can express. I don't understand how to act. Sometimes he scares me. I just need some pain. Sometimes he's a